My name is Aaron Ellison, and I'm a senior research fellow in the Department of Organismic and Evolutionary Biology at Harvard and the senior ecologist here at the Harvard Forest. This is a project that we're working on where we're looking at the effects of climate change on ants. And colloquially, we refer to this project as the Warm Ants Project because we're basically heating up the atmosphere just like uh, humans are doing with global warming and exploring how ants will respond to that kind of climate change. What we're doing here is we're trying to simulate, that is to mimic the effects that we expect to see over the next hundred years in terms of climate change, in terms of how much warmer the air and the soil is expected to get on the uh, animals, particularly the insects that live in the soil. And our focus here is on ants and how ants will respond to the kinds of temperature changes that we expect to see as atmospheric carbon dioxide increases over the next 50 to 100 years. Why is this experiment important? Why should people care about ants? Why should they care about trees and seedlings? I'll, we'll focus in on the, on the ants here. There are thousands of moths in this forest, thousands of butterflies, tens of millions of mosquitoes and black flies. When they die, where do they go? Right? They fall down on the soil. Right? What happens to them? Why aren't we, you know, knee deep in carcasses of moths and butterflies and other things? Well, other animals come along and break them down and decompose them and eat those carcasses and, and carry them away. And one of the big contributors, one of the big decomposers, the big nature's garbage collector are ants. Right? They do lots of other things as well. We've all grown up since we were little kids knowing that earthworms are really important in our gardens because they aerate the soil. And if you put your, your earthworms in your compost, you get better compost and you get better gardens. Well, ants turn over more soil and aerate more soil than earthworms do. Without ants, everything else falls apart. Whereas without people, most other things keep going on all by themselves. But ants are the glue that hold together a lot of ecosystems and a lot of food webs in ways that we're just beginning to understand.